Hello world, this is Samir and I welcome you all on this episode of AI Society and in this tutorial we'll be making a very interesting project which is hand gesture implementation and in this project uh, it, it is it works on Python 3.8 and OpenCV 4 it's an updated version it's an updated code of OpenCV and Python to work on uh, hand gesture recognition so let's start with the video right away so first we'll be importing the three libraries that we'll be needing in this project uh, which is NumPy, OpenCV and Math uh, to install basically to install OpenCV and NumPy you can do pip install OpenCV dash Python and to install NumPy you can simply do pip install NumPy and after that we'll be accessing the camera using uh, cv2.capture i am accessing my wireless camera which is being running on my phone okay uh, the, i am using my android phone as a camera so i'm using this ip address i this uh, ip address link to uh, access my camera access my mobile phone camera and after that what you can do is you can provide either you can provide zero uh, yes, you don't have an option. You have to provide zero for the webcam that is being already installed in your computer or you have to gain access of your external webcam and provide, uh, you don't need to provide anything, you just need to provide zero for that. Just a string zero like this. Okay, but I am providing this so I'll be using this camera and after that we are running a while loop uh, what what it is doing it it is and it is saying capture dot is open that means until the camera is running until the camera is uh, you know uh, until the capturing process is there do this whole thing okay so what what is that thing we are reading the frame of the capture we are reading the frame of the uh, video frame of the capture of the capture video from the webcam and it uh, through capture dot read function and after that we are creating a rectangle sub window we are creating the rectangle sub window by providing the uh, you know x y length and uh, metrics that it requires so and the you know and the color and uh, after that we are what we are doing is we are cropping that particular rectangle that is being shown in the live video so for example like you have seen in the preview that uh, how that you know rectangle is being shown on the other side so what is it is doing it we are creating a rectangle on this axis on this position of this color and we are cropping that basically and uh, we are cropping that frame and we are basically that storing in the crop image variable and after, after that we are applying the Gaussian blur Gaussian blur is basically a smoothing technique uh, we can if you want to see what is exactly is the Gaussian blur uh, we you can go to the OpenCV smoothing website and uh, here you can see that we have uh, enormous amount of filter Filtering, uh, filtering techniques in that we are using the Gaussian blurring and what it does is it basically see th there are some technical aspects of that uh, which is discussed in uh, another video I'll be discussing that but instantly if you want to see is uh, see this is an original image and this is the Gaussian blur image so it is basically smoothing the image it is uh, it is removing the extra extra and accessible noise that is being shown on the webcam and after that we are converting that you know image the the blurred image the sorry not blurred we are converting that smoothened image into hsv format hsv means hue saturation and uh, value hsv is basically you know closest uh, computer vision format uh, as compared to humans so we are converting the blue green red to hsv and uh, what we are converting we are converting the uh, the uh, the smoothed image and after that we are creating a mask of the skin color okay these are the values that is being you know manually entered which means which basically i got this from internet i didn't you know i didn't uh, uh, you know do trial and error i just got the internet that if you want to uh, you know apply the skin color uh, skin color if you want to apply the mask of the skin color you can use this these values for that and uh, we are we are basically trying to you know we are basically trying to create a binary image with the uh, white skin color and the rest is black that means the whole screen will be black only the place where skin is being uh, captured will be shown white as shown in the preview Mo tra morphological transformation basically refers to the you know to the transformation technique in which we'll, we'll, we try to you know we, we try to see that our image our feed is not haven't loosened the information 
okay the information that we are needing uh, by we, that information that we need that should not be get loosened while removing the noise so while doing the morphological transformation we are applying the two morphological transformation which is dilate and erode what is dilate and erode dilate and erode are basically the morpho morphological transformation filters that is being used to filter out the background noise if you want to see tra uh, if you want to see the explanation we can go to the OpenCV website and see what is the erosion and dilating simply if this is an original image let's say this is an original image okay and if you are applying dilation to it so this original image will be look like this after applying dilation and after applying erosion it will look like this that means di what dilation does is dilation it stretches the image more it, it darkens the image more it you know okay and uh, in erosion it basically lose the it lose the uh, some some of the information of the data so it's not a very you know high concept we know already we have studied this is in school i think we have uh, you know we have studied about soil erosion where soil gets eroded due to you know storm or due to some of the due to some of the natural phenomena the code is also available uh, i basically copy it from there we don't need to copy it actually you you just need to call the method uh, from the cv2 and it will be automatically do it and we are applying this kernel that is you know having this uh, morphological kernel and after that iteration is equal to one only one time we are applying the dilation and erode method so now our new updated image is erosion okay and after that we are again filtering out the image by applying the gaussian blur on the eroded image okay by 3 by 3 0 uh, like you can you can read here that uh, in the smoothing image we apply the positive and the odd numbers okay uh, we should specify the width and the height of the kernel which should be positive and odd so we are applying this positive and odd numbers for the gaussian blur and after that we are applying the after that we are you know calculating the threshold applying this or not calculating we are applying the threshold on the filtered images so for this is the uh, filtered images what is filtered image filtered image is basically uh, erosion eroded image by apl after applying the gaussian blur so we are calculating the threshold and returning that and we can see the threshold here okay so what threshold is basically doing it is basically creating a kind of segmentation of your hand by you know applying these okay and after that we are we are finding we are trying to we are trying to find the counters if you want to understand what are counters let's go to the documentation counters are basically a curve joining all the continuous point having same color intensity that means a hand is having same color intensity so it will try it will automatically detect it by having the same color intensity as we as we have shown here okay and after that uh, as we, as it is uh, written that the counters are useful tool for shape analysis and object direction recognition which are what which are what we are doing here okay and uh, how to draw we are uh, we have already applied this code and uh, the important part is counter approximation method okay uh, like we have applied the counter approximation method of chain approx simple so chain approx simple what it does it removes all the redundant points and compress the counter thereby saving memory there are two types of counter approximation method which is chain approx none and chain approx simple we have applied chain approx simple okay chain approx none basically it stored all the points like this like if you want to detect a rectangle it, it stores all the point but in chain approx simple it only detects the uh, corners or we can say the end and the starting point of the interested area so we are just uh, trying to find the corners and it will detect the counters and after that we'll try to find the counter maximum area by applying the max function on the counter and by applying this function counter area uh, is basically an inbuilt method which uh, which or uh, which tries to find the you know the area of the you know area of the hand that will be showing and after that we are creating a bounding rectangle around the counter we are uh, we are creating that rectangle around the counter by these values so now we'll be try to find the convex uh, hull of the counter we'll be trying to find the convex hull of the contour and in that what we'll be doing we'll be creating two another window not windows window it basically it will be creating two another top right i think it will be available on top right in which it will be detecting same thing in two different formats first 
it will be draw it will be drawing a convex hull of contour by it will be drawing the counters for the contour that that is detected here that is detected here by applying the area and uh, in the in the second one it will be creating it will be try to detect the hull of the uh, contour hull it will be try to detect the hull which is being calculated here so it will be shown into two different uh, two different windows on the screen and after that we'll be trying to detect the number of uh, fingertips okay we'll be trying to uh, detect the fingertips how will we doing this we, we will be using the counter defects okay this is not an inbuilt like see if you want to see the uh, information about counter defects see this link i have applied i have given all the links in the description what it does see see what it does uh, read about this it is really informative and uh, it is really useful and uh, it will be looking like this somewhat like when we will be applying the hand when we will be when it will be detecting our hand then it will be shown like this only it will be try to you know bind our hand into uh, into lines green lines basically and in that uh, after that it will be trying to find the start point end point farthest point and approximate distance to farthest point as it is being calculated here start point end point farthest point and approximation distance okay i have taken this code from here only okay the code is taken from here only as you can see it's the same code here as you can see it's the same code and after that we'll be calculating the angle by using the cosine rule by using the cosine rule and uh, you can play with this if you want you can play with this but try to you know implement this code as it is as you as it is as you shown to see what it what the code is doing and after that it is open to experimentation you can download the code from the github link now we'll be printing the you know the values that will be detected so if the count def detects the count defects is equal to one that means uh, if the count uh, sorry not one it's zero then it will be showing us uh, so one on this screen on this coordinate on this font of this color of this width okay and uh, after that uh, if the count defects will be one then again it will be putting it two if the count defect is two then three three then four four then five and then we'll be showing the frame after that we'll come out the loop and showing the frame and uh, calculating the all image by nph stack and uh, passing the drawing and the cropped image and after that we'll be showing our counters then we'll wait for the queue queue means when we'll be pressing the queue button the window will be closed and after that we'll be destroying the window now let's see how it looks As shown in the preview uh, this is how it looks and uh, you uh, make sure that wherever you are applying this code wherever you are applying this project make sure the light intensity should be good because if the light intensity is not good it will not be able to detect plus the back th there should be nothing in the background this is something that is important like if there is something in the background then uh, it will be it will be trying to detect the you know cosine value of those patterns that is showing in the background so try to 
put uh, your hand where there is nothing in the background this a plain white or any other color preferably it is white and that is why i'm doing it on uh, my terrace okay and in that you'll be able to not detect it and as you can see it is quite good it is not that bad and we can do this using tensorflow and krs too but here we are just using open cv we haven't used any big libraries and still it is performing quite well so this should open some new doors to your life in the field of computer vision if you love computer vision you should subscribe to my youtube channel i also make videos on tensorflow and uh, keras which i'll be uploading soon and follow me on instagram i i am pretty much active on instagram too like you can follow me and you can uh, see my content there i have put a lot of content around uh, i have i have put around 4250 to 300 content still now so you can go and uh, watch out those content too uh, on the regular basis and thank you so much uh, subscribe to youtube channel and uh, subscribe to youtube channel and thank you so much we'll meet in the next project <laughs>